United Nations Human Rights Council's recent decision to launch a continuing inquiry into human rights abuses in Israel and Palestine is a welcome step. United Nations reported that six hospitals, nine healthcare centers, and a water desalination plant were damaged during the fighting. From fake medicines to fire extinguishers disguised as oxygen cylinders and recycled personal protective equipment, India's coronavirus crisis has been lucrative for its ever inventive army of scammers with sometimes deadly consequences. Prime Minister has been proponent of environmental protection. He is the first Prime Minister in Pakistan's history to have focused on climate change issue. Pakistan is hosting the global event in partnership with United Nations Environment Program for the first time since the inception of the event in 1970. Indian police have arrested seven men for illegally possessing 6.4 kg of uranium. The case was registered under the Atomic Energy Act 1962 against both the accused after a report from a Baba Atomic Research Center in Mumbai confirmed that the seized material was highly radioactive. China, Afghanistan and Pakistan agreed to formally push forward the peace and reconciliation process in Afghanistan. China's state councillor and foreign minister Wang Zi hosted the fourth trilateral dialogue via video link with Afghan foreign minister Mohammad Hanif Atmar and Pakistani foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi.